Welcome to Christian News TY. My name is Dorothy Buffkin, Lake City, South Carolina, June 29, 2022. An early morning accident resulted in the death of a golf cart driver Tuesday. Sidney Kennedy, 64, of Morris Street, Lake City, was transported to the hospital and later died after his golf cart was involved in a head-on collision with a car on South Mars Street. The golf cart was being driven with no lights on and on the wrong side of the road into oncoming traffic, said Lake City Police Chief Jody Cooper. No charges have been filed against the car driver. Another incident in Lake City, South Carolina. Lake City Police seek bank robbery suspect. June 29, 2022. The Lake City Police Department continues searching for a suspect in the June 17th robbery of South State Bank on Main Street. Last seen leaving the bank in distinctive clothing, investigators are now searching for Christopher Jason McNeil of Cary, North Carolina. After the clothing were found, discarded near the bank with the picture ID and wallet. McNeil is described as a bald white male, 30 to 40 years old, with a slender built about six feet tall and blue eyes. He may be driving a white Volkswagen hatchback. Police Chief Jody Cooper said McNeil should be considered armed and dangerous and should not be approached. Anyone with information on his whereabouts should call the Lake City Police Department at 843-374-5411 or Crime Stoppers 1-800-222-TIPS. Press Release Winsburg County Sheriff's Office Makes Arrest in Domestic Dispute Incident John Willie Dansby, age 52 of King Street, South Carolina, was arrested and charged by Winsburg County Sheriff's Office with assault and battery of high and aggravated nature. On June 25, 2022, deputies with the Winsburg County Sheriff's Office responded to Hubcat Road, located in the King Street area of Winsburg County, about a domestic dispute incident. Upon arrival on the scene, Dansby discharged a weapon from the resident toward the door where the initial deputy was located. The deputy was able to seek cover until other law enforcement officers arrived. An investigation into the incident revealed that the domestic dispute victim was located inside the resident when Dansby discharged a handgun at the victim. Dansby then followed the victim into another room of the resident while armed and threatened the victim's life. The victim nor the deputy was injured during the incident. John Willie Dansby was transported to the Winsburg County Detention Center on his respective charges of assault and battery of a high and aggravated nature. The Sheriff's Office requested the assistance of the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division to investigate the officer-involved shooting. <laughs>